my channel, Edible Thoughts Makes. My name is Stephanie, and in this short video, I thought I would share with you how I wash my hand-knit socks. Now this, um, the way I'm washing these can apply to other hand-knit items as well, but I'm specifically talking about socks here. Um, you can see behind me, there are some socks that are drying from a previous uh, load, and I just have one pair that I will demonstrate on today. I will talk about two methods of washing them. One is using the washing machine, and one is hand washing them in a sink or basin or bowl or however way um, you decide to wash them, or I suppose some of it depends on how big of a load you have. So let's get started. So I guess the first way I will share with you is via a washing machine. So we have front loading washing machines, and on mine I actually have a cycle that says hand wash or wool. And so if I have a lot to wash at once, it may not really be um, practical of me maybe to hand wash all those items. Um, I could, and I think if you hand wash, it does increase the longevity and um, the color of your um, hand knits. But sometimes if I'm just, if it's going to prevent me from wearing my hand knits, then I'm going to use the washing machine. So I have a hand washer wool setting and I will make sure the water is on cold. Um, that way I decrease the risk of color bleeding and of any felting. Um, because mine are front loading machines, I feel like they are gentler on the laundry and so the clothes are being like flipped around instead of being um, spun around with an agitator in the middle. Um, to each their own, so you do what is comfortable for you and if you've tried it for years and it works great, then good for you. Um, it is kind of the same for me. I've done loads of my hand knits in my washing machine on the hand wash wool setting on cold and it's worked just fine. I do not put them in the dryer afterwards. I do lay them out flat to dry if they are bigger pieces and if they are smaller pieces like so socks, they go up on a hanger or on a drying rack. When I'm putting it in the washing machine, I will use a liquid wool wash. This is Eucalyn and it is a no rinse wool wash. So I'll just put some in the washing machine and when it is done and the water spins out, I take out my items and I hang them up to dry or lay them out flat to dry. My second option is hand washing and that you can do in a large mixing bowl, in a tub, in a basin, in a sink, however works for you. And with that, I use a bar soap and um, here's one that is not open. I like to use Tufted Woolens Sock Soap. They all smell so good. This one is Mossy Woods. And this is what it looks like opened. I just have it in a container that I've reused from other things. And what I do is once I turn on the water cold, I will put the soap underneath and lather it up. And if there are any stained spots or extra dirty spots, I can rub extra soap on that spot. And then I will just let the items soak for maybe 15 minutes or so. If it is extra dirty, maybe I'll change the water in between and do it again. Um, and then after that, I take them out and I don't wring them, but I will press the water out as much as I can. And then I will lay them out on a towel on the floor, fold or roll up that towel, press the water out, either by standing on it or with my hands, however way I feel like it and then unroll it and then take those damp items and hang them out or lay them out flat. So now I will actually show you how I do that with a pair of socks that I will um, wash. Okay, so here we have our bin. Here we have our socks. I will put the socks in there and grab my soap. Turn the water on. Now I will leave these to soak in here for 15 minutes. It's a good idea to set a timer so you don't forget about them. All right, our 15 minutes is up. And now I am going to take out of the water. 
can squeeze the water out without wringing the socks. It's a little trickier with one hand instead of two, but my other hand is holding the camera. Okay, so once I get all the water out, I'm going to bring it over to a towel that I've laid on the floor. All right, here is the towel I have on the floor. I'm going to lay these socks out. If I was washing multiple items, then I would just lay them all out on the towel, and I would probably need a bigger towel, like a beach towel or a bath towel. And then now I will fold this towel in half. I will fold it in half again. And then I will press the remaining water out. Now, at this point, you can use your hands or you can stand on it. A lot of times I stand on it just to get more of the water out. Another option instead of folding is to roll it up. So I can roll out the water as well. And then squeeze the water out that way. Now these socks are just damp, but not soaking wet. And I can either lay them out flat to dry or hang them up. I choose to hang them up because then there's more airflow so that they dry quicker. And I will show you. So I have these socks hung up here on a hanger. If I had a lot to dry and I had space for it, then I would just take out a drying rack and hang all of them on the drying rack. But I don't have too many pairs here, so they are all hung up on hangers. And I don't find that having them in half leads to any weird creasing or folds on them when they are dry, they are just fine. Having them folded in half does take a little bit longer to dry than um, maybe laying them out a little more open on a drying rack only because where the fold is there's less airflow between the two but if you're in no hurry you can always um, just flip them over the next day this um, these socks here are a little heavier weight they're DK weight so they take a little bit longer to dry this pair is on a, a pair of sock blockers and sock blockers are definitely not a necessity to drying socks. They can help even out tension and stitches after a first wash, which I really like to do. I also think for color work socks, it kind of evens out the tension and the stitches in the color work. This particular pair doesn't have color work. I just have them drying on sock blockers because I ran out of hangers at the time that I was washing these socks. I do find that it helps them dry even faster because it is an open frame sock blocker and so there's a lot of airflow between the um, between the fabric. But otherwise, most of the time I just have them drying on hangers or a drying rack. I hope that was helpful.